Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Sometimes I think that uh, the Russian leadership doesn't really understand the situation. I want to say really miscalculates the intentions of the other side. And I'm not talking about miscalculating uh, the intention of Zelensky or Jimmy Hall and all those, you know, gutter people. Uh, it's uh, miscalculating the intention of the United States of America or Great Britain or the collective West uh, because they say something at one point and then some uh, Russian politicians make some statements that makes you wonder if these guys really understand the circumstances. Let me read you what the uh, Russian ambassador to Washington said and uh, then analyze how could you possibly make this kind of statements. Uh, this article comes from Sputnik. It's from today, the 6th of January 2023. Ambassador Antonov says that Washington does not want political settlements, settlement of Ukraine conflict. We are in January 2023. We are, what, 11 months in the bullshit and you come and tell us this? Well, Russian ambassador in the United States, Anatoly Antonov, said on Thursday, commenting on the White House's de decision to deliver uh, Bradley fighting vehicles to Kiev, that Washington does not want a political settlement of the Ukraine conflict. <laughs> Are you the last one who gets this one only now? I mean, you got a pretty thick skull uh, to uh, be able to uh, you know, protect yourself from this understanding. Yes, these guys, these guys, if they can, they would have you like Mussolini, okay? And his uh, mistress, I can't remember what was his name. What was her name? Yes, they would have you hanging down in, uh, in uh, uh, Moscow in the Red Square upside down they would have you like uh, um, Mohammed Gaddafi the same way these are the people you're dealing with you're not dealing with uh, so-called Nuremberg trials and look at the Nuremberg trials it was the same thing a little bit more camouflaged you you gotta understand Antonov that if your country loses you as an idiot ambassador to Washington DC, you would be taken out. You would put in front of a whatever uh, tribunal they would uh, poop around and you're gonna get guilty uh, ver verdict of whatever they want. War crime participating. I mean, you had in a second world war, you had military, army officers that they were charged with war crimes and uh, holocaust and this and that and i had no fucking idea what they were talking about it didn't matter because the victors do whatever they want to you don't let yourself get there good or evil as you might be never let yourself at uh, your enemy's whim <laughs> what do you think why would you let yourself over there now this guy is talking about see they don't have no idea. They have no intention. No, they don't. They don't. And they really mean to fuck you up. Got it? Got it? I mean, really. I can't believe these guys are still talking about it. Uh, but I, I tell you why. I think the Eastern Europeans, when we lived in uh, the, in the Eastern uh, Bloc, we looked at the Americans as, you know, special people and the West Germans and uh, capitalist. We looked at their uh, economic success. That's the word, economic success and uh, social, uh, social civilization, we called it, as superior to our garbage. And I gotta tell you that uh, that was a point where I also believed in that. But then you go and rub shoulders with these people you go and read a little bit, you get in their society and you realize who's who, what's what. And you say, how could I be so dumb? Well, at least you have this awakening at that one point, but you are an ambassador, you live among them. 
what do you think? So these guys live with a, uh, um, how should I put it, uh, romanticized idea of America. Like is this is the, the PR that you receive, you know, democracy, freedom, people in a good, you know, good, uh, good natured people, you know, open, helpful, hardworking, positive, pumped up. Yes, fighting for what's right. Yeah, this is what comes over there. But it's not like that. It's not like that. People are like that here, yes. But the politics over there, they're not like that. Look at the facts. So, I don't understand this guy. This proves that. The first helmet that was sent to Ukraine by these guys. Look how many, um, how should I put it? How many statements came from that... Senator Lindsey Graham, whatever his name is, to take out your leader. The Russians came about what, two weeks ago, a week ago, talking about uh, uh, possibly Americans having a plan to uh, eliminate Putin. Then you're talking about how do you think they're going to eliminate Putin? Come and invite him outside and driving with a limousine to a party or something? No. When you think about that, think about Mohammed Gaddafi, how Gaddafi was taken care of, that's how Putin is going to be taken care of. Do you think it's going to be just, uh, hey, Mr. Putin, yes, and Putin is going to walk outside with his, yes, beautiful, yes, see you never. No, no, there's going to be a display of that. And you know who's going to do that? The Russians. It's not going to be the NATO troops. No, 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 no. The NATO troops will create the whole environment. But it's going to be the Russians, and possibly going to do it on the Russia's Day, National Day, or maybe, I don't know, on uh, uh, I don't know uh, Pushkin's uh, Day, or birthday, or something very meaningful, or maybe Christmas, now it's gone, maybe uh, Easter time, something that will make you look at you like an idiot. You're even an idiot, you know what I mean, by doing that. Now, when I... Uh, uh, practice martial arts. He was a full contact martial arts. And you would spar. You know, and when you spar, uh, you know how much power you employ when you fight. And you discuss with the partner, okay, take it easy, or let's go rougher, or do you do this? And you, you adjust. That's when you uh, spar in a positive, you, positive way. You help the other person. You help, you know, you train. But sometimes you find an idiot who, uh, I tell you from that ex experience, an idiot who wants to, uh, I don't know, has a big ego or uh, wants to prove that he's better than you or he doesn't like you or something like that. Even though in the dojo it's clear, it's clear the rank, it's clear that you are the champion and he's just a guy over there. But you find this kind of people. And when you fight, pam, 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 let's say they kick you to the head. And you don't, obviously don't block it as you would block in a competition, 100%, because you don't expect the kick to be 100%. So you barely touch it. But you feel by the strength of that kick the intention of your sparring partner. And you realize that that guy did not want just to pretend at this time. He wanted to kick you in the head if he could. So when he kicks you, you realize, and then you block, and you get hit and say, what the fuck is going on? Hey, take it easy. When that happens again, you realize you got in front of you an idiot. So what I used to do, I used to kick the shit out of the guy. Beat the shit. Yeah, I could. And I was able to. Beat the shit out of, guy, of the guy. Teach him a lesson. Do not do that. I don't do it. I could. But I don't. We're practicing here. Now I seem like Russia is me here. And the sparring partner is United States. That you think you're, you're, you're in a sparring session with that guy. But that guy is serious about it. You think, oh my God, yeah, very nice. Pop, pop, pop. I touch you here. I do this. I'm... No, that guy wants to knock you out cold. Uh, you, you, uh, un, uh, when you realize that, you have to switch things. I see Putin trying to negotiate with this. No. I think that the Russian, Russians have to just say, you know what, you want it, let's take it. I'm not saying they should use any bigger weapons or anything like that, but stop talking about, yes, maybe we'll negotiate. I'm open for, I won't say anything, anything about negotiations anymore. Nothing about any peace process, nothing, zero. When you are coming on your knees, 
then I might talk to you. That's how it has to be. And believe me, that's the same attitude from the other side. Do you think that those guys want to talk to you? Whenever you think about the other guys, think about, as I said, Gaddafi. And th that should be your image. That's who you're fighting, the guys that want you to be like Gaddafi. You don't believe me? You're naive and you deserve your fate. I can't believe these guys are so... It, it's, it, it's beyond uh, how is that? propaganda now. It, it's beyond. You just, uh, you know, you're, you're like a, a husband that's been cheated uh, three times by a wife or five times by, a, by your wife and you continue to think that she's not going to cheat, to cheat you again, cheat on you again. No, that's done. You have to realize the dynamics. That's the way she is, that's the way you are. She's going to do it again and again and again until, I don't know, she destroys you. And that's vice versa, it's not only, oh my God, but this is the way it is. You have to understand at one point who you're dealing with and act accordingly. Divorce the shit and move on. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.